Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic 3D model of hair dryer nozzle in Autodesk Inventor. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use loft surface and then thicken the part. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now from here go to 2D sketch and select the top plane. This will be the visor plane. Rotate. Now go to circle command. Here make a circle of dia 20 and here also dia 20. Go to dimension from center point. The circle will be at a distance of 33 mm and this also at a distance of 33 mm. Now go to horizontal constraint, select the center, select this, select this midpoint and select this midpoint. Now they are horizontally aligned. Now go to arc command and make an arc over here. Go to line command from this center join till arc and make one line horizontal skip select both the lines both these lines and make them construction generator ok now you can see the dotted lines drag this down ok so this is the line now go to dimension give this a dimension of 8.5 mm ok and go to vertical select this now it is fully defined now go to tangent constraint select this arc and select this circle now it is defined now go to mirror command from here take mirror select this arc go to mirror line and select this horizontal line apply and done ok so this will be the final profile now go to trim trim this inner profile and this inner profile now go to offset command select this whole profile bring the mouse inside and here give dimension 2m escape double click this and write again 2m now it is perfectly 2 m now select the outer profiles this this arc and this make them construction generated ok now finish sketch now go to 2d sketch once again and this time select the xy plane and go to arc command here make one arc and give it a dimension radius of 120 and the distance from the center point will be 54 escape now go to vertical constraint select the center point over here and select this center ok now it is fully defined now finish sketch now we will project this profile on this ok do one thing go to sketch one again rotate it and here go to line command make a straight line passing through its center and make one vertical line also ok Escape. And drag this ok finish I will tell you why we have made this now go to 3d sketch and here we will select intersection curve select this outer profile and select this profile so our uh, intersection curve will be made here and press ok you can see this profile is projected on this curve ok 
now we will project this line and this line again go to intersection curve select this center line and select this curve ok now again intersection curve select this line and select this curve ok now this also will and this also now select this make it construction similarly select this make it construction and finish these profiles are made to generate this point and this point which will be used in next sketches now we are done with sketch 1 so select sketch 1 turn off the visibility now from here go to 2d sketch and select the xy plane rotate and go to circle command from this midpoint make a circle of dia 55.4 mm ok now finish sketch <coughs> now these are the sketches on which we will work now go to 2d sketch and this time select the xy plane ok rotate it little bit now go to project geometry project this circle and project this point and project this point ok escape now from select this make it a construction profile ok now go to line command rotate the view from here first we will start from this the green line rotate it this will be at this edge of the circle make a straight line escape and go to dimension give this a height of 7 mm now go to arc command make one arc here and join this arc till here ok go to dimension this will be a distance of 3 mm and this will be 250 ok and escape now go to tangent constraint select this and this Similarly, select this arc and select this arc. <coughs> now it is fully defined sketch. Go to line command. From this center point, make a vertical line, escape. Select this line, make it a construction geometry. And go to mirror command. Mirror this arc, this arc and this arc. Go to line, mirror line and select this vertical line, apply, done. Now finish this. Now we will make one profile over here also. Uh, select this and hide. Okay, so this will be the sketch we need. Now go to 2D sketch once again. This time we will select the YZ plane rotate the view and here go to project geometry select this point and select this point select this circle again so a uh, point will be directed on this side and this side escape select this line make it construction now go to right view now go to line command select this point make a line escape go to line command once again and from this make one more line and escape go to arc command make an arc between them go to dimension give this dimension as 248 ok escape and drag it down 
now we will define the center point of this arc go to dimension select the center and select the center point the vertical dimension of this will be 64.1 this center and this point horizontal dimension will be 210 mm okay so this will be the profile now here the most important thing is go to fillet and take a fillet of 5 mm if you don't put this fillet you would not be able to take these profiles in loft command so select this line and select this so I'll select this and select this select this and this ok now here 5 radius and here also radius of 5 mm now go to line command from this center point make a vertical line escape select this line make it construction <coughs> go to mirror profile select this line this arc this and these two ok now go to mirror line and select this vertical line escape and done ok now finish sketch ok so these are the total number of profiles now go to loft command here we will take this surface click and select this profile top profile and this circular profile here you can see the surface profile here we will take rails and select this rotate it select this side rail and go to click to add select this rail now click to add select this side rail and this side rail ok now finish ok so this will be the profile which will be generated now we will thicken this so go to thicken select this face and give a thickness of 2 mm so the thickness will be applied outside and ok ok so this will be the profile now go to loft surface 1 right click and turn off its visibility now it is clear from here we will define the color I have taken cyan color so it is little bit shiny so this will be the profile and from side this will look like this ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a surface profile using the loft command in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.